Hey everybody! In this video we are going to be talking about how to re-stretch a mesh screen for screen printing. So this screen has definitely seen some things. It's got a design kind of etched into it for all eternity at this point. Um, there's a lot of drawing fluid and screen filler caked into it. So what we need is a fresh new screen so that we don't have any ghost images left. So as you can see, there is a little cord wrapped all the way around this screen and we're just going to pull the whole thing out. From here we can remove the screen. Alright, so it looks like whoever used this screen last got a whole bunch of screen filler along the frame here, which is why it's so gross. So let's make it clean again. What I'm going to do is I have this piece of screen cut um, just a little bit wider than the frame. And I have a couple tools that I'm going to use to put my cord into the frame, um, into this little notch here. So this is a traditional tool for kind of pushing the cord into the frame. Um, I actually use the end of it a lot to kind of get the corners in because it's kind of smaller and easier to work with. But the best tool I have is this guy. It's a little rotary. It's got a skinny side and like a little notched side. And this makes it go in really easily. So it's really actually kind of enjoyable to do it. Not annoying. If you don't have any of these tools, you honestly could just use any small instrument like the back end of a fork or something to, or a butter knife to push the cord in. Whatever will fit in there will work just fine. So what I'm going to do is reuse this cord here and I'm going to gently kind of set it into the notch of the frame just to kind of hold it in place. Then from here I'm going to take my handy rotary tool here and I'm going to roll it down into the frame. I'm going to rotate the frame so that I can do the other side here and I want to just kind of pull my fabric just a little bit so that it doesn't have any wrinkles or folds in it at this point. I don't need to pull it super tight because once the cord goes into the frame it's going to stretch it for me. And when I get to the corners I can take this end tool here and pop it in. Now when I get to these last two sides I'm going to want to start pulling my screen kind of out as far as I can here just to get rid of any wrinkles as I start laying the cord. I don't need to pull super tight but just enough to get rid of any wrinkles in the fabric. I like to kind of pull at a diagonal here because then it's going to pull this area in addition to everything else. Alright, and my cord is just a little bit short so I have some extra that I will use in place. And again from here I'm just going to kind of tug on the screen a little bit to make sure it is stretched taut. And I can use my tool again in the corner and at the edge of this cord. All right. 
great. So now all we have left is just this little section. All right, so our cord is in the frame. We have our mesh stretched, so it's nice and tight. It's nice and clean. Uh, what we can do at this point then is take our scissors and just trim off this excess mesh all the way around. All right, so there we have it. Our screen is ready for any kind of screen printing application at this point. Stay tuned for more videos on how to screen print. Thanks for watching and keep creating.